<sighs> well, well, well. Good morning, my friends and family, my family and friends. Drive, you can tell. Okay, it is right now 8 o'clock on the dot. Today is Friday. What's the date? January the 26th. And I'm headed out to do some gig work. Instacart and Walmart Spark mainly. And uh, have I told y'all on my previous videos I decided to go ahead and start taking my social security. It ain't going to be much. It's going to be, I think, about between $1,400 and $1,450 a month. And uh, looking forward to it. Will I be able to quit work? No. Do I want to quit work? No. But it will afford me a little extra time to where I could do things like clean up around my house. Lord, you guys, around my house is horrible. Over the years, Mariah, she mentioned that she heard the neighbors com complaining or grumbling a little bit about my messy place. I talked to my neighbor the other day. He said, they ain't no problem, but honestly, I look at my place and I think, you know what, there's a lot of cleaning up that needs to be done to this place. But I'll tell you guys, when you're working full-time and a half, and I say full-time and a half, because I work 60, 70, 80 hours a week. I've been doing that most of my life. Never been a real high money maker person. And I gotta say, I've probably been a little bit some people might say generous to a fault. I give away a lot, so I I never really seem to catch up in a financial way. And I'm still I'm still in the rears quite a bit. But I think I can manage it, still slow down working with the, the little bit of social security I'm gonna get in. <clears throat> I've got buildings full of stuff. I've been a hoarder for years. I've never I think what it is, I, I was raised up poor, and I was never really able to throw things away. But I'm not going to throw my stuff away. I'm going to give it away to people that might be able to use it. And with the extra time that I get, now you know I'm not going to be making extra money anywhere. But with the extra time that I have, because... I just got to do this. I'm going to raise the garden and I want to give more of my time away to other people. Maybe volunteer. Uh, if somebody needs a yard mode, I can mow it without charging them. If somebody wants, needs something painted, I might be able to do that or a tree trimmed. I want to be able to give of myself some more. Be able to go visit people that's um, <clears throat> maybe would like some spiritual nourishment or some people that just plain need up building. I want to do things like that. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, any I thought too is I've got way too much stuff at my house. And so I thought, well, maybe I'll take and set out a day at the flea market. You know, that would be fun. Something like that to get rid of the bulk of stuff that I have because I want to clean up my place, take some buildings down. I just got a lot of plans. Anyways, y'all, uh, but today's plans is try to go out here and make some income doing the gig work. So y'all, come along with me and we'll see what I get.
Okay, you guys. A lot has happened since I talked to you last. Let me fill you in on what was going on. I got an Uber order, and I decided to take it right after I talked to you all the last time. Right after I talked to y'all the last time. Anyways, um, let me pull the picture up on it. Uh, okay, it was for $10.32. A total of three miles. That's to pick it up and to drop it off and everything. So not bad. I went ahead and took that one. And then, of course, here's the way these apps work. As soon as you put your car in gear and you're going down the road, they throw you, these other apps throw you something. Uh, and so as I was on my way to check up, pick up the Chick-fil-A order, um, I got a $17.91 order to pick up 33 items 47 for full units for 2.8 miles and when i got into the kruger's they sent me another one and didn't hear is um 8.6 miles now that's not 8.6 miles extra i don't think i think that's with this drop off too but anyways, I'm not sure. Anyways, it's uh, thirteen dollars and thirty four cents for eight point six miles. I don't know if that's eight extra miles or what, but I know where the place is at, so not too far out there. And it's nine items and fifteen units. So anyhow, I've done the shopping. Of course, I've got the Chick Fil A dropped off. I got the Instacart shopping's done, and so. Now I'm on my way to drop off these two orders. Deep in the shadows, I know it's hard To put one foot in front of the other ah, So far is the ego, where do we start? You can learn to discover a million stars Here in the shadows I know you're scared Take my hand together We'll make a stand We've got to fight to find a way Dare to fall to find out what to say No more hate Just admit that you're just afraid Time to let go all your fears and pride Stand up beside me Don't you hide We can build a better place If we can just find a way Then we can live a better day Rise from the ashes From the anger From the war Let's come together Lift your spirit for the cause we should be equal, should we live free? All together, one and all, let's build a dream. Well, I was wrong. That was an additional eight and a half miles. If I'd have known that, I wouldn't have taken it. The temperature is 58 degrees here. I got my window down. Praise God. I see a, uh, looks like a mowing outfit there. Yep. God got his trailer and mower going. I don't know what kind of mowing he'd be doing because ground is soft and wet. Maybe it's just somebody that wanted to get out and feel like they was working again, huh? 
I know why I'm, I'm getting pretty excited about getting my equipment all up and ready and breed and oil and all that. I'm pretty excited. Well, well, y'all see who's over there in the other vehicle? It's cuteness. So I'm going to meet up with her and help her do some shop. And um, I guess I'll hang out with her for a little bit. Okay, so me and girlfriend are going to go drop this off. dropped that one off and the customer it was supposed to be meet the customer and they never came out where's your map they never came out now if we wanted to be that way we could put them on a timer and if they don't show up we take the groceries and of course stores don't take the grocery back so you take them home we can actually keep Road. them customers hat groceries if we wanted Weird. But we're not going to do that. What's weird? Keeping someone's groceries. No, we could if we was that way. But, of course, we're not going to because we're not that kind of people. But they didn't come to the door. And we're not supposed to leave the groceries if they didn't come to the door. I took a picture of it and left it. So, either way, they can claim they ain't get their groceries. But, either way, Instacart would have to pay for it. Well, you guys, this is tomorrow from yesterday. Huh? It is? I, what's coming in? Fort, you, did you do by the hour? No. Yes, it says 14 an hour plus tips. How, how many miles is this one? It, 8 Where's the pickup? Applebee's, and it's 8.6. Where's it going? I don't know. It just says 8.6. Check it out. We might it's going to take, take us 45 minutes. All right. We'll go ahead and take that one. For fourteen seventy-five. Right, we'll go ahead and take that one. Okay, you guys. This in here, apparently I had my DoorDash on by the hour. I never do that. But Mariah said that's what came in. So I'm just going I'm going to take this one because according to her, it's going to take about an hour to do it anyhow. So if there's a tip involved, then it might be $20, who knows? But it's $14.75 or 8.5 no, miles. an hour, it says an hour, active time. Yeah, she said it's gonna take an hour to do it. Is that what you said? That's what it says, estimated time, 44 minutes. For eight and, and a half miles, how can that take an hour? It said estimated time, 44 minutes. So we're gonna take this one. Uh, it's eight and a half miles. I think it's going back toward Maryville. Land. We'll see what we're gonna pick up. Back Six ounce sirloin. Cheeseburger. Oh, this is a lot of food. It's going to be more than that. Yeah, here. Oh, I think they bag it up in plastic in here pretty good, though, don't they? Please wait in your car upon arrival. Please call store and have them bring it to you, it says. Okay, we'll call them. A runner will bring there the order out to your vehicle. I don't, I don't, I think pickups have to go in there to get it. It's, that's just what it said on the app. I know it. They said it on the app. I know it. I think I did that once before, and they said um, mobile app. That's only for customers. 
It said sit in your car. I know it. I know it. We'll call them see how this works. We're at Applebee's. We're going to call them and see how this works. In ground. For location information and hours of operation, please visit Applebee's.com. Due to high call volumes, if you want to place an order, please also visit Applebee's.com to expedite your order online. If you're interested in a career with Applebee's, press 1. Why would you go to through all this? Sale for the manager, press 2. To speak with an attendant, press pound. That's crazy, isn't it? I have a pickup order and uh, for a DoorDash, and it says sit in my car on the app. Or do you want me to come in there and get it? What's the name for the order? Scott S. All right. Do you want to come inside and actually grabbing it? Not at all. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I knew that. Okay, it's 5:43, and we got this order. It's interesting to see how much this one's going to be. You're not supposed to look at it until you get to the car. So we find out together. What is it? I can't see it. 1875. <laughs> okay, y'all seen it. 11.50 for a tip. You were right. I thought it would only be a dollar. I knew because it was a high a high uh, dollar order that the tip would be pretty decent. 19 bucks nearly. Mm -hmm. We had to drive a long way. <laughs> Not that bad though, girlfriend. Nice house. It was on the way home. Mm -hmm. That's like making free money. Mm -hmm. Free money. Okay, you guys, we know we didn't record much. We ain't done much gig work. We've done a lot. It just hasn't done, we haven't done anything. It hasn't had anything to do with us. <laughs> so this week has been very slow. Last week of the month tends to be a little slower. And that's okay. Um, I don't mind having a slow week every now and then. But Mariah said she wants to go home. We went to visit my brother. I ain't seen him in a while. So we ain't done much today either. But that's okay. We'll jump on here and say a quick hey to everybody. And uh, hope y'all are doing okay. And aren't we looking forward to getting back to mowing? And we've eaten that bank. No, I don't want to eat the bank now. Let's see if y'all remember the bank looks like we just mowed it it does look good okay y'all see if you remember the bank tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to throw a little clip in there of when we was weed eating it All right, girlfriend, you want to get anything before we go home? No. <sighs> what do I want to get? I hope Tom's okay. I don't know, in case he's hungry or anything. I'm not hungry. I'm hungry. I, I had a uh, Bucky's. Yeah, we have a bunch of Bucky nuggets. Yeah, and not only that. Beaver nuggets. I had salad. their potato, like their Bucky potatoes, and Bucky, uh, what, a barbecue sandwich. Yeah, we a shared while ago, but... we shared a half a sandwich. Remember, yeah. or we shared a whole sandwich. We just shared it. It was big. Should be for twelve ninety five. Thirteen dollar sandwich. Ain't that disgusting? Yeah, it was good though. Anyways, still, you guys, uh... I can still smell the barbecue on my fingers. Anyways, you guys, so uh, that's this week's video. That's Friday and Saturday's video. We just ain't 
Ain't done much today and yesterday. We've been out. We just haven't, hasn't panned out. Well, it rained so much too. And Actually, we did okay yesterday. I think it was around $100, $200 between the both of us. I don't remember. I believe it was $200 between the both of us yesterday. So, of course, I'm getting to where pretty soon I won't be. As soon as the rain lights up, lets up, I'll be doing other things. Getting everything ready to mow and mulch and so forth and so on. Y'all noticed um, Carl and Rachel, they was out mulching the other day. Y'all head on over there to Happy's family. They changed their name. They're no longer Happy's Lawn Care. They're Happy's family. Because they're going to do all their videos in one video on one channel. Whereas they used to have a gardening channel, a farm channel, and a lawn care channel. Now they only have one channel. And that's what I'm going to do too. I've got a several I tried to kick off and, and do, but it's just too much hassle. I'm just going to put everything on this channel. Well, right. we like to vlog a lot of things on our channel. It's about our life. Yeah, this what is... What we do. Yeah, and we'll probably change the name of this one, too, is probably to Ratliff Family. Ratliff Family Vlogs. Yeah. Probably get out of the lawn, lawn thing. Because it, it's about lawns. It's going to be forever and ever. But it's also going to be about gardening, about vacations, about everything we do. It's just our daily life. But primarily, we do the lawn care on here. Yeah. I do like to do the lawn care on here so my customers can tune in and see what kind of work we do, the areas we work. I think we, we should just keep the name and let it fly. Whatever we want to put yeah. on it, we'll put on it. Yeah, we, we will probably keep the name. Yeah, you're right. Because we do that anyhow, and it seems to be fine. People yeah. don't care. Yeah. In the wintertime, surely people know there's not any lawns to mow. Well, now in Florida, they is. Some people, they can mow about year-round. Well, I haven't seen that one guy mow, the one that does all electric mowing. Uh, Johnny something. Johnny, blades of grass. Yeah, you can't, I haven't seen him mow. I think I was supposed to go across. Yes, you were. All right, good night, you guys. Good night, have a good night.